Ever wished there was a better response from your in-game spouse when you kick the bucket? Well, with this mod, you can experience all the worry and attention you've been craving from the character you chose to marry. Consider subscribing if you enjoy the content, and let's dive in. Time to get me a hubby. Me dying in the mines to change the trajectory of Alex's life. Let's go! But marriage is not the point of this video. Point of this video is death. Basically, we're gonna see how they react when you, their spouse, um, discontinues the journey of breathing. Oh boy, I sure do hope nothing bad happens to little old me. I'm just a little innocent newlywed. All right, baby. Oh, perfect, a slime. No, no, my life. Oh, my life. The stress of my modern farm has caused me to go into a depression. Alex, my husband, won't you save your darling dearest damsel in distress? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had that mod until literally this moment. <laughs> Fish? Darling, wake up. <gasps> Alex. Hey, are you good to stand? Come on, I'll boost you up. Help me. Oh, I feel faint. You'll have to hold me. <laughs> Okay, hear this. I was just running laps up in the mountains when I realized that something was pulling me towards the mines. It was honestly a little creepy and got me thinking that you might be calling out for me or something. So I came down here to find you. And I simply came along to clear a path for Alex while we brought you back to the surface. At first, I was to venture in alone, but Alex insisted on coming along. You're blessed to have ended up sharing your life with someone so courageous. All right, Marlin, back off. He's mine, okay? You're obvious. Oh, it's nothing. Punching a slime here and there isn't much of a workout, though I totally see how easy it is to get overwhelmed. Alright, man. I guess I'm only courageous when I got someone at my back to prevent that from happening. It's in my nature to be Frank. No, it's in your nature to be Marlin. I'm simply stating the fact of what I saw. You did well standing by my side. Okay, you need to back off, man, okay? I was joking at first, but... <laughs> At any rate, it's best to leave for now. Fish needs to rest and recuperate. You two shouldn't linger. Farewell. Yeah, get out of here, man. Don't let the cave-in bonk your head on the way out, Marlin. Hey, let's head on home. Wanna jog down the mountain with me? Oh wait, you probably shouldn't be exerting yourself right now. You don't look too injured, but let's still be careful. I'll jog ahead and tidy up so you can crash when you get there. Meet you at home. Love you. Wait, you gonna leave me? <laughs> You're gonna leave me? Ow, I seem to have lost my family's fortune. Oh, that's messed up, man. You couldn't have, like, carried me or something? Did Alex not come to my wedding? Well, that one's better. <laughs> Wait, by the end of this, is there gonna be anyone here? I'm told there's a very special cutscene if, um, you die while he's out on the book tour. So, um, oh, <laughs> fish, I've just received the most exciting news. That's great, I'm so happy for you. Surely nothing will happen to me in your absence. I'll be out of town for a week. Will you be okay? I'll be as happy as a clam. Um, for the plot, we're doing this in the school cavern. <laughs> Hello. My middle name is Danger. Are there monsters in this town, Fish? <gasps> Let's go. Oh, it's much easier to die in here. <laughs> Fish? Easy now. Take it slow. Harvey! Wait, where's... Where's Elliot? Hello, Fish. I'm glad you're finally awake. Hey you, you're finally awake. Someone brought you back here unconscious and badly injured. I had to take you in for emergency surgery. <laughs> what can I say, whoopsie. Since you were unconscious and unable to consent to the surgery, I had to call your husband to explain the situation and get his consent instead. He was very worried for you, of course. Even said he would cancel his tour and return to Stardew Valley. Although he agreed to hold off on that when I updated him on your condition after the surgery. Oh. <laughs> Elliot was prepared to drop everything and return home to you. Oh, well now I feel a little sheepish. Your condition is much better now, Fish, but please be more careful next time. I'll do what I want, mustache. Well, if you're feeling alright, you can go home. Elliot said he would write you a letter soon, so keep an eye on your mail. Take care. <laughs> Man, no one wants to walk me home. Oh, wait, am I out of the cut? Oh, I just have to watch him walk really far. Okay. I feel well enough to return home, but... <laughs> At a time like this, I miss Elliot more than ever. Dr. Harvey charged <laughs> my life savings for the hospital visit. And I lost my stone! Guess you could say me and Harvey have a rocky relationship. 
My dearest fish, Dr. Harvey contacted me yesterday to ask for surgical consent on your behalf while you were unresponsive and has since updated me on your condition. I was ready to cancel my tour and return home at once, although he assured me that you would be fine. Truly, darling, I was frightened for you, but all I can do from so far away is ask you to be careful. I miss you and wish I could have been with you when you needed me the most. All my love, your devoted husband, Elliot. Well, time to divorce him. It's Harvey's turn. And I'm really making my way through the group. Also, I can't get to all the cutscenes, um, so feel free to check them out yourself. The mod will be linked in the description. You're probably wondering why I gathered you all here today. Okay, I'm told Harvey has a special one if you die in school cavern, so here we are. Hello, poor poor slime. Oh no, whatever will I do? <laughs> ah, my life, it's over. Fish? God, I'm coming in for your checkup, my dearest. Why am I on the ground? You couldn't have put me in a bed. My goodness, look at you. Um, <clears throat> well, all seems in order. When you were first brought here, you were badly injured and unconscious. I had to take you in for emergency surgery. Oh! My honest reaction. I was terrified to tell you the truth, to have your life in my hands, not knowing if I'd be able to save it. It was one of the most stressful moments of my career. All right, let's be positive about this. You pulled through, just like I knew you would. Just please be more careful in the future. I don't think I can ever see you like that again. Well, you're in luck, because you won't have to see me ever again after this. Fish is fine, so why am I still shaking like this? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> you're joking. You are joking. You're telling me I can't get a free hospital visit from my husband? These people are dropping like flies. <laughs> Time to see how my dearest Maru will react. <laughs> To our untimely demise. <laughs> we were so young. Fish? Easy now, take it slow. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> he sounds a little, uh... <coughs> Hello, fish. I'm glad you're finally awake. Someone brought you back here unconscious and badly injured. Maru and I had to take you in for emergency surgery. I'm coming in, fish. You're already looking a little better than when you came in. Do you want me to bring you any pain medication? I'm really glad you're okay, hun. It was really touch and go for a while during your surgery. Harvey didn't want to let me see you like that, but I insisted on helping. I couldn't just stand back and do nothing while you fought to come back to us. I was not fighting very hard, I'll let you know. Oh, I mean, who? <laughs> Maru's been taking excellent care of you all this time. You're almost good as new thanks to her. Just be more careful next time, all right? Why don't you mind your own business? I'll let you two finish up here. Maru, if you need any days off after this, you know you can always ask. Thanks, Doc. So... You wanna make sure I'm really better? <laughs> well, you heard him. You have to be more careful out there. Doctor's orders. We should go home. At least you can say you have your own personal nurse to take care of you. Oh my. <laughs> but in all seriousness, please don't get hurt anymore. Watching you slip right through my fingers? I never want to go through that ever again. Well good, you won't have to, because I'm gonna divorce you. Alright, Harvey, this is getting ridiculous. I'm not gonna have a lot of people left. I think Krobus uh, never shows up to these events. This is gonna be a weird one. <laughs> we just have a penchant for danger. <laughs> spare me, spare my life. Oh God, please, I don't wanna die. <laughs> All right, cool, what's next? Fish, fish, wake up. <laughs> uh, that was not who I expected to see. <laughs> have anything to say? Oh my, what happened, fish? Are you okay? Do you need to see a doctor? Oh good, I'm glad. Kira, leave me your clothes to wash and go clean all the soot off your face. I really do wish that you did less dangerous work, but... Adventure suits you, and I know it makes you happy. I won't stop you, just... Don't burn through any more clothes, please, dear. Oh, <laughs> It's cause I died in the volcano, guys, get it? I am ready to get hurt again. After I spend ten business days breaking that rock. Kill me faster! I've got attention to seek. Hello again, Harvey. Fish! How are you, honey? You look a little sore. You certainly look better than I expected, which is a good thing. I really tried not to imagine the worst while I waited. Oh, oh no, your shirt is all torn up. I'll mend it when we get home, alright? You know, I was a little worried at first, but then a little birdie told me it would be just fine. I had to believe it. The stars aligned for us to have found each other in this universe. They wouldn't just tear us apart so easily. I have to believe that, too. Dr. Harvey. Harvey, you menace. 
Wait, it's Leo. Oh, you're awake. That's good. My bird friends found you in the volcano. They say the fire spirits were not happy with you and tried to cook you like food. But my friends stopped the spirits in time and brought you here. Oh, well, that's, that, that's good. That's right. If my bird friends hadn't found you, the spirits may have eaten you like we eat golden walnuts. But my friends say you'll be okay. Just be more careful the next time, yeah? I'm going to get a worried look if I go home like this. I definitely look worse than I feel, though. That's reassuring. Really, though, maybe you should wash in the river. Falling asleep on hot rocks is not good for you. You look like a coconut left too long on the fire. Okay, why don't you tell me how you really feel, man? Ow! I lost my life savings. Hey, Leah. Welcome home, dear. Did you- Oh, fish! What happened to your face? And your clothes? You smell like a campfire. Sorry, that was just a shock. Do you want to go shower off the soot? Maybe take care of those burns, too? <laughs> without me. Self-expression is good and all, but I don't think the scorched look is doing you any favors, dear. I would never say that to you. I mean, kiss me, you fool. Anyway, it's time for a divorce. Alright, who's our next victim? I mean, spouse. Oof, her own sister didn't come to the wedding. That's rough. Can't wait to get to the squad over there. <laughs> you can't take me alive! I'm gonna live forever! <gasps> Hello, baby. Oh my gosh, what are you wearing, fish? This actually is unrelated to the <laughs> volcano. Oh, I liked those clothes on you. We'll have to throw them out. They're burnt through and through. Are you okay? Good. Go wash all the ash from your hair, and I'll start shopping for new clothes in the meantime. Please hurry, dear. You smell like the time I ironed my wet hair. I love you too! <laughs> this is my easiest divorce yet. You think Mayor Lewis is getting tired of this? Nah, he looks like he's fine. I can fight them! <laughs> next time, next time for sure. There you go. Take it easy, my love. Are you okay? <laughs> I feel sick. I don't know if I can explain it properly, but I had a vague, bad feeling all of a sudden. I went looking for you to make sure it didn't involve you. Turns out it did. I'm just glad you're not hurt too badly. I'm hurt so badly. And I simply can't- No one cares, Marlin. No one cares. Ask me who cares. Wasn't that big of a deal. I take walks in the mines when I can't sleep anyway. So it's not like I haven't been down there before. That seems concerning. You heard the man, we shan't linger. Look, Fish, I won't say I wasn't worried, because finding you unconscious like that was pretty scary. But it would be pretty hypocritical of me to tell you not to go down there anymore. Besides, I trust you. I know you can take care of yourself. So next time you're in there, go serve those monsters some sweet revenge. Ow. <gasps> My fortune. And I was left here again. Oh no, I hope some purple-haired girl doesn't come to save me. Unless... <gasps> oh, she woke up! Who are you? So, weird story. Earlier I got this random feeling that something terrible had happened, and I just knew it was about you. Don't ask me how I knew. It really just came to me. Wherever it came from, though, it led me to find you. I can't complain. Courageous, huh? I like the sound of that. It sounds like you're buttering me up to recruit me for the guild. Hey, Fish, I know I don't sound like it, but I was really worried for you. I got to explore the mines, but it wasn't so exciting when all I could think of was you in danger somewhere. I'm glad we made it in time to find you. And I'm glad I got to swing my sword a few times, too. Just you wait until I get stronger. We'll conquer the mines as a dream team together. Yeah, power couple. And never mind, we're broke. Time to get that sweet alimony. There you are. Easy there. Are you feeling okay? I'm awesome. I was jamming to my favorite tune when suddenly I felt like something had gone terribly wrong. I really felt like I had to check on you. Turns out I was right on the money. Sure about that, Pops? I really didn't end up doing much more than piggybacking fish back up here. I wouldn't go as far as to say I was courageous. Are you gonna let me piggyback the way home? Hey, Fish, not gonna lie, the bad feeling put me on edge, especially when we couldn't find you fast. But I know that exploring the mines is your thing, so I won't stop you from going back. Besides, I know that skill isn't the issue with someone tough like you. I'll be rooting for you to have better luck next time. Skill issue. It's a skill diff. There's no one here. Oh no. I guess, um, what is it, like 12th time's a charm? <laughs> Ouch. Hey, there we go. Are you okay? No, I'm Jolie Fish. <laughs> Billy Goose. I just had a bad feeling and came to find you. At first, I thought it was just the regular anxiety. But then when it wouldn't go away, I knew something was up. Your guys' anxiety goes away? Good thing we came by. 
passed out face down in the mud really doesn't suit your cool image, you know. I'm not courageous at all. I'm just a guy who's only got one thing left to lose, and that I just can't afford to lose. That's all. Shane and Joyers rise up. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Hey, we should go home and grab something to eat. You've had a rough day today. You can come back another time to finish what you started, okay? Even the toughest fighters need to take a break sometimes. And anyway, we both know you'll make short work of whatever got you today the next time you're down there. Alright, now that we're divorced, it's time to see if he'll still come to my rescue. <coughs> Probably heard my screams. <laughs> my Roblox death noises. Fish. Easy now, take it slow. Oh, it's Penny! <laughs> Wait, is it just random? Uh... <laughs> I, I I married I married her, so she um hello. You have a visitor, by the way. They've been here since you went into surgery, and they were just waiting to talk to you. Just as it's their right to visit, though, it's also your right to refuse visitors. I'm a button push away if you need me. Oh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it's just Penny. Fish is ready to see you. It's not my place to get involved in private matters, but all I ask is that you remember that she needs her rest, and you should think of your own well-being too. Thank you for your kindness, Dr. Harvey. Pelican Town is lucky to have you. And Fish was lucky to have you. What were you doing in Skull Cavern, girl? Hey! Hi there, Fish. I'm sorry for coming in. I just, I just wanted to be sure that you'd be okay before I left. Just because we're not together anymore, it doesn't mean I wouldn't care about what happens to you. As relieved as I am, though, seeing you again hurts more than I thought it would. I should go. Yeah, you should. Truth is, I just didn't want you to wake up after going through something so difficult all by yourself. No one should have to feel abandoned after coming so close to losing their life. That being said, I should think of myself too. Being here hurts too much, so I'll leave you to it. Be well, fish. Goodbye. Penny, wait! Can, can you help me with my hospital bill? <laughs> Dang it, Penny! Surprise challenger has entered the ring! Uh, Krobus! Yay! Oh, you're so real. <coughs> oh, it's just Krobus. Hello, fish. It seemed about time for you to wake. I will explain. I must have mentioned beforehand that I've severed my ties to my less amicable brethren, yes? Some intrinsic ties cannot be fully cut, however, and it is through those sensations that I felt my kind stir within the depths of the mine. Knowing you were here today, I followed you to ensure your safety. And indeed, I found you face down in the mud, out cold. To be truthful, I don't like coming down here. It makes me uneasy, like ghosts of my would-be existence following me. Still, even though I prefer our home, and even the sewers above this place, I couldn't stay away when I felt concern for your safety. Ah, there it is. This feeling. I suspect it is what you humans call love. Ah, <gasps> You love me? Oh, <laughs> it is God again. Not a problem. I will reflect on it further the next time it appears. For now, shall we return home together, fish? Oh, Krobus. <laughs> you dog. Ow. And I didn't get charged money. That was the only one I didn't get charged money. Oh my gosh. Krobus on top. Thanks for watching. I would so greatly appreciate it if you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Who do you like to marry in Stardew and why? Until next time.